Here's Everything We Ate in Yozu Part 2. High in the mountains of Yozu, there's a beautiful temple overlooking the ocean. There we found a restaurant with the most amazing Korean seafood pancakes and kalguksu. The pancakes were loaded with cuts of octopus, shrimp, and squid, while the noodles had more of the region's octopus, mussels, and prawn. They were served with plenty of side dishes and, of course, the region's famous gat kimchi. Just down the road, we stopped off for some coffee at a cafe that specializes in taiyaki. They serve two kinds, sweet potato and red beans, so of course we had to try both. The pastries were soft, flaky, and buttery while the filling was warm and gooey. The perfect snack for a chilly day. Further up north on the island, we stopped in for braised cutlass fish and marinated crabs, two dishes Yozu is famous for. The braised fish were flaky, tender, and came served in a sweet and spicy marinade. The crabs were prepared in two different ways, one in soy sauce and the other in a sweet and spicy sauce. The food was perfect and the serving size was so generous, we were totally stuffed afterwards. As is customary for a Korean vacation, we stocked up on pork, mushrooms, rice cake, and lettuce for a quick grilled meal on the balcony of our pension as we enjoyed the sunset over the ocean. And finally, we headed to Yi Sunshin Square to pick up a kiss ring. It's a bit of a cross between a bagel and a croissant. This huge pastry comes in a few flavors, but the blueberry was an easy standout. Hope you enjoyed our foodie adventure. See you next time!